What's up guys? Thanks for checking out this video. In this video we're going to be looking at how to play Shape of My Heart by Sting and Dominic um, Miller. And this has actually been sampled quite a lot of times in different records over the years. But I've been having a play around with the actual original track and I actually followed a video that um, Dominic put up um, some time ago uh, to play it properly because there's different ways of playing this and this is actually the best way and according to Don who actually wrote the track with Sting, um, is the right way to play it. So there may be a few tweaks here and there, but the general sense is that it's played like I've just showed you. So we're gonna have a little look at how to play this. We're gonna break it down. I'm gonna do my best to explain it in a bit of detail and slow it down for you because it is quite a tricky song to play. I've obviously switched to my classical Spanish guitar here um, to get the authentic sound that you hear on the record. Um, so we're going to dive in and have a look. Now if you haven't subscribed to this channel please make sure that you subscribe. Uh, we've got loads of tutorials, loads of um, guitar lessons and song tutorials uh, already uploaded but we just do it every week so you'll hear loads of different songs coming out very soon. So subscribe down below and like this video if it helps you out. So let's have a little play around and see what we can do with this track. So here we are zoomed in to the neck and you can see a bit of the sound hole so uh, hopefully you can see where my fingers are going and what strings they're plucking. If you don't, uh, I'm going to do something slightly separate a little bit later where it just hones in on the, uh, the plucking of the strings. So first of all, like I say, there's loads of different ways to actually play this and I followed the tutorial that Dominic put up and that link is actually in the description below so if you want to check that out, it's not a tutorial, it's just the way he plays it. Um, so I followed his fingering and where he's putting his fingers on the fretboard uh, to the best um, that I can follow. So. This is what it's looking like to start with. So the first uh, thing you need to know is that it's actually a bit of a stretch, okay? So you're going to need your third finger, your pinky finger, and your first finger on this. So let's start with your first finger. Your first finger is going to go on fret number six of string number three. Your third finger is going to go on fret number nine of string number five. Your pinky finger is actually going to go on fret 10 of string number 2. So, so you're going to pluck 5 and 2 together and then 3 and then 2. Okay, then we're going to move to the next position, which is first finger is going on fret 6 of string 3, second finger is going on string 5 of fret 7, easy for me to say, fret 7, string 5, and your pinky finger is now on fret 9 of string number 2. So I'm plucking 5 and 2 again together, and then 3 and then 2. So let's have a look at that again. And again. And one more time. And then we're going to move that shape down 2 frets. And that is... First finger on fret number four on the third string. Second finger on fret number five of the fifth string. And pinky finger on fret seven of the second string. And we're gonna do exactly the same plucking uh, technique. So it's five and two together, and then three, then two. So, let's have a look at that again. And then we're plucking 5 and 2 again. But this time we're going to move our second finger and flick it and change it to the first finger on fret number 4 of string 5. And then we're going to move our pinky finger down from the 7th fret 
to the sixth fret. So I'm plucking five and two, and then moving it down, pinky finger, and just plucking fret number six, string number two. Let's try that again. You can either move your pinky finger down or you can use your third finger for that, uh, just that semitone change. It might be easier to use your third finger. One more time. third finger is definitely easier. And then second time we repeat the whole pattern, but the only thing that's changing is that our first finger is actually going to be on the seventh fret of the third string, so it's going up a semitone to get this note. That's the only thing that changes. And then we've got... So that is... Same position as the third position, so I'll talk you through that. Second finger is going on fret number five, string number five. Third finger is going on fret number six of string number three. Pinky finger is going to go on fret seven of string number two. And then our first finger is going to tuck in on the on the fifth fret of the first string to get that. And I'm plucking five, three, two, three. I'm actually just plucking string number two again after that. Right, let's try that all together. And then our next bit is a bit of a hammer on. So what I'm doing, I'm barring, half barring, the uh, the second fret from the D string, so string number four. I've got my pinky finger on fret five of string two, and I'm going to hammer on my third finger onto the third string of the fourth fret. It's a bit of a stretch. Plucking five, three, and two together, and then I'm just plucking two and three together after that. Let's try that from the top again. Fret four, whole bar right across. I'm barring that with my first finger. I've got my third finger on fret number six of string number four. And I've got my pinky finger on fret number six of string number two. And I'm plucking five, four, three. moving that shape just one semitone up, one fret up, and I'm going so pinky finger then off, pinky finger goes on to st string number three of the seventh fret, and I'm, I'm plucking string number five as I do that. This, we have got first finger, first finger is on the second fret, I'll have to zoom in there, second fret of the second string, second finger is on the fourth fret of the sixth string, 
third finger is tucked underneath, that's on the, th um, the fourth fret of the fourth string. And my pinky finger is actually on the third string of the fourth fret as well. So we've got... And I'm taking that uh, first finger off. First finger goes on to the third string of the second fret. And then it's basically just an F sharp minor. So there it is in its entirety. Uh, it is quite a tricky song to play, so slow it down and make sure that you're, you're taking your time with this. Follow the link in the description to Dominic's way of playing it. He's obviously great at playing it and far better than me because he wrote the song, um, but it gives you a really good idea. That's the bare basics of it. And like I say, if you're listening to some popular songs at the moment, that is the way to play it in the sampled versions of the, of the songs that are out at the moment in the charts. So have a play at that. I hope it really helps you. And uh, if you like this, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and um, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.